Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th to the 24th. Keep in mind the timing is still fluid, you know, and not every reading is for you, so let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January 18th to the 24th? One card for an overall energy, please. The Magician. So the Magician is a very powerful energy. This is you being in control. You have the power. You have the resources to be successful. This is as above, so below. This is getting something that you asked for. This is manifestation. You may be manifesting something right now. And whatever it is that you're thinking, because this is about thought, it is manifesting. So your thoughts are manifesting very strongly at this time. You um, have a divine connection to source right now. So anything that you are thinking, good, bad, whatever, is manifesting. So really, really, really pay attention to your thoughts. When you get the uh, Magician card, it means that you have a golden opportunity in your hand to create something. Um... You, all you have to do is focus. You are very skilled. You can create whatever you want. So this is a week of creation for you. Um, you're in charge. You're the boss this week. Okay, you're, You have all the tools that you need right at your fingertips to be successful. So you are in charge this week as long as you're in charge of your thoughts. Okay? Um, yeah, you. This is this is a, a card of action, doing something to bring success. So you may be doing something to bring success this week, and you will be successful. You will be successful because you're in your power. You know that you can do it. There's no stopping you. So this is this is success. This is gonna be some. This is gonna be a week of success for you. Um, the actions that you are taking are going to make you successful in whatever it is that you're doing. What do we have for Sagittarius? Should come into focus any moment. I don't know why I gotta get a new camera like soon. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. I knew it. I knew it. Mice, discord among friends or family. So you definitely are dealing with some pests. You got some pests. There's going to be some discord. But you are going to be taken care of. You have the resources. You're in control. You, The power is in your hands. People may not like it. That's too bad. That is too bad. You definitely got some pests that are probably... You know, going to cause you with some little pesky problems or whatever, but you're still in control. You've got the power. The power's in your hands and you don't have to worry about a thing. All right. Although it may cause some worry, you know, but you're going to be taken care of. You will be taken care of in this difficult time. So, yeah, you're probably going to be experiencing some difficult times because if you think about mice, what do mice do? They cause problems. You know, it could be a little frightening. You know, could be, you may be a little frightened. I mean, when you see a mice, what happens? You usually scream, you know, so it, it, but, but do they hurt you? Not really. You know, they can cause damage, but you know, so you may, you may be dealing with some pests. Okay. But you're still in control. So what do we have for Sagittarius? nothing for you to worry about there isn't because you have the power right you have the resources oh oh boy so the tower the tower is a major disruption there could be moving there could be a change in residence you know near the tower card there's something that is crashing down it's all of a sudden there's going to be a sudden crash or upheaval or chaos or a major disruption that sheds light on a situation this light being shed is a necessary evil that 
uh, forces you to, to build something better, to build something stronger. So you may be uh, experiencing some chaos or some upheaval. It comes out of nowhere. It comes out of nowhere. It's going to force you to remain in control. It's going to, this is force. The tower is always force. You are going to be forced to take action because the magician has to do something, has to take action. So you're going to be experiencing some sort of dismantling of a false sense of security or a false foundation, or there's going to be a disturbance, or there's just going to be a shocking uh, life change that happens. This could be an internal disruption. It could be an accident. Whatever it is, when you get the tower, this is a rude awakening. Somebody's about to get a rude awakening that forces them to uh, start with a clean slate. So you may be starting with a clean slate this week. You may be. Maybe you will be. You know, Light is definitely going to be shed on a situation that, you know, there's been some darkness. It hasn't been seen. Now it's going to be seen. So get prepared to deal with some upheaval this week. Now, this tower is a shock. So this is shocking information. Uh, you may be, may be receiving some shocking information that springs you into action. Ace of Wands reversed. I feel like there, something is going down. Okay, that's going south, going down. Um, lack of fruition. Lack of ambition. Lack of drive. Uh... Something is not materializing as you thought it was going to be or something did not materialize. There's a lack of passion and a lack of growth which is causing this tower moment. So the tower moment is being caused because there's some... Um, there's a lack of passion. There's a lack of excitement. There's a lack of growth, you know. And it is time to start with a clean slate. It's time to rebuild a strong foundation. Somebody has built a foundation on uh, unsolid ground, you know, where it was it was dangerous anyway. There's no way this was going to last forever. If you build you build a tower, you know, in the ocean where there's stormy weather, well, obviously it's not going to last. You know, if there's if there's uh waves all the time and there's storms all the time it's obviously going to break down eventually so yeah i feel feel like there's going to be a breakdown there's going to be a breakdown it's time to rebuild someplace else you're going to be needing to take action to rebuild so yeah you're going to be rebuilding something but that ace of wands reversed is is uh you know, not excited, being weighed down. Somebody has been weighed down by a false sense of security. The star reversed. So the star reversed is is no, it's like help. It's like no help arriving. No, no offense, not trying to, it's just the way it is. Um, the star card reversed is feeling hopeless, right? It's depression. It's fear taking over. It's no faith. It's arrogance. It's uh, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Somebody may be saying those words. Why is this happening? Everything happens for a reason. I think that your faith is going to be tested. Your faith in humanity is going to be tested this week. I feel like you're going to, you may feel depleted. You may, you may, there could be even some ill health here. Somebody's health could be declining and it could decline very, 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 very fast. And it could decline fast because somebody hasn't accepted help. There's, you know, they haven't accepted help. So I do believe there's going to be a disruption. Um, but with that, you will be de taken care of in difficult times. It looks like you're going to be taken care of because you have a divine connection to source. I feel like source is forcing something because this is a forced change. Forcing, you know, forcing change. And it does have to do with friends or family. It does. So the, this, the star card reversed is why is this happening? Why it's happening because somebody, it's not strong, right? It's not able, you can't keep, this isn't strong. It's not a strong foundation. It's not, it's not secure. It's not safe. That's why it's happening. It's not safe. You may have some fear. Remember I said mice, they, you know, they can make you scared. This is like fear. 
So somebody may try to make you fearful. So just beware of that. Anyhow, you are protected though. I feel like you are protected. Don't let don't let this fear get in the way. Just know that you are protected. Um, Eight of Pentacles. Now this is about putting in effort. You know, this is about uh, craftsmanship. Learning something, learning a new skill, taking your skill someplace else. Hard work. You are very skilled. I can see that you're very skilled. This is skilled and this is skilled. So you have some sort of skills that you may not know about. I mean, maybe you don't know about these skills. You're going to need to put in, somebody is going to need to be, be put in effort to, re, to build a new foundation it's not going to be easy. A strong foundation. And foundations can be body. It can be work. It can be your home. There's going to be, there's, there's something that needs to be dealt with. It does. And it's going to take a lot of hard work. It is. You may be feeling depleted. You may feel depleted as you are trying to build something. You're trying to fix something this week. Temperance. Time. It's going to take time. You may be, you may need to, you know, temperance comes after the death card. So there's going to be an ending. So an ending comes before the temperance card. This profound change, which is very, very clear. You're going to be experiencing a profound change this week. This is destruction, okay? It is. It's major destruction. This is going to force you to change. You're going to be changing something. Temperance is about change. This is about everything happens for a purpose, evolving. You're going to need to be grounded, but you also need to be fluid. I feel like you are going to need to allow and accept change this week. And it may make you upset. You may be saying, why is this happening? You may feel very uneasy about it. And you may feel like you don't want this to happen. Change is scary. So I feel like this week you are going to be uh, going through a major change that you did not expect to go through. You did not, You didn't expect this to happen. This is unexpected change. Okay, You're going to need to manage your feelings. You're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to cooperate. You know, the temperance is change and renewal after death, after some sort of major disruption. So yes, you're going to be dealing with a major disruption that changes your path, put it that way. And you may not understand it. You may be, be like, why is this happening? It's all happening because we have a false sense of security here. That's what the tower is. Somebody has been trying to hold on to something that is built on un stable ground it's not safe so this is needing to find the self-discipline to change this is healing healing from some sort of disruption some of you are going to need to heal and maybe it may may require you to go someplace else so yeah i feel like there's some ill health here i think that there's fear there's fear and there's a need to there's a need to go someplace else where it's safe and i feel like safety is is number 1 at this point you know, your safety is number one. So I feel like you're going to be taking action to remove yourself from something that isn't safe. And I feel like this is divinely guided. I feel like the universe is protecting you. And you may not see it as protection, but it is. So Sagittarius, this is a week of evolving and accepting and going with the flow.
you've got something better than where you've been. You've been in a place of chaos. You've been in a place of lack, right? It hasn't been healthy. You've been in an unhealthy place. It's time to get healthy. It's time to bring balance and harmony and peace back to your life. And it's been anything but peaceful. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of big, huge change for you. Yeah, this is the end of a situation where you have been depleted. Your energy has been depleted. This is exhausted, fed up, health issues. There's health issues here. And this is putting in effort to heal. So yeah, there's, there's, there's healing that starts this week after somebody gets a rude awakening that shakes them up. This is a huge wake-up call. You're going to be given an opportunity to build yourself up stronger than you ever have been. That's why this tower moment is happening. We have a, you, the star comes after the tower. That's when help arrives, but this one is reversed. This is like, this says you will be taken care of, but this is refusing help. I refuse to accept help or I refuse to listen to anybody. I refuse. Everything is happening because you're choosing to stay in something that isn't safe. Like we talked about, the universe is no. This isn't safe for you. It's not meant to be. You won't accept help? Then we're going to crash this party. And force you. Towers force change. Accept. Force you to accept. Nobody likes to be forced. Especially Sagittarius. And that's why you're in this predicament. This is poor health. It's depleted. This is a lot of work. You have a lot of work ahead of you to heal. So you're going to be going through a period of healing. Something is going to happen. And it's because you... It feels like you do something, you do something that causes this tower moment. And it's, just, it's like that chain of events and it changes your destination. It changes things very fast. It leads you down the path to healing. So yeah, this is a week of, of a universal change, put it that way. There's a div di divine connection to source that is going to uh, shake up your world and it's going to force you to go down a path that you have been reluctant to go down and it's because of fear. Good luck.